triolos, also known as mycos or trimalos, is a natural alpha-linked disaccharide formed by an I plus or minus, I plus or minus minus one, one glucoside bond between two I plus or minus glucose units. In 1832, H. A. L. Wiggers discovered trihalos in an ergot of rye, and in 1859 Marcelin Beardelot isolated it from Trihala Manor, a substance made by weevils, and named it trihalose. It can be synthesized by bacteria, fungi, plants, and invertebrate animals. It is implicated in anhydrobiosis a euro the ability of plants and animals to withstand prolonged periods of desiccation. It has high water retention capabilities, and is used in food and cosmetics. The sugar is thought to form a gel phase as cells dehydrate, which prevents disruption of internal cell organelles, by effectively splinting them in position. Rehydration then allows normal cellular activity to be resumed without the major, lethal damage that would normally follow a dehydration rehydration cycle. Trihalos has the added advantage of being an antioxidant. Extracting trihalos was once a difficult and costly process, but circa the year 2000, the High Ashbrook Company confirmed an inexpensive extraction technology from starch for mass production. Trihalos is currently being used for a broad spectrum of applications. Structure Trihalos is a disaccharide formed by a 1, 1 glucoside bond between 2 I plus or minus glucose units. Because trihalos is formed by the bonding of two reducing aldehyde groups, it has no capacity to participate in the Maillard reaction. There is an industrial process where trihalose is derived from corn starch. There are at least three biological pathways for trihalose biosynthesis. Chemical properties Trihalose is a non reducing sugar formed from two glucose units joined by a 1 1 alpha bond, giving it the name of I plus or minus D glucopyranosyl, 1 or 1, I plus or minus D glucopyranoside. The bonding makes trihalose very resistant to acid hydrolysis, and therefore is stable in solution at high temperatures, even under acidic conditions. The bonding also keeps non-reducing sugars in closed ring form, such that the aldehyde octone end groups do not bind to the lysine or arginine residues of proteins. Trihalose is less soluble than sucrose, except at high temperatures. Trihalose forms a rhomboid crystal as the dihydrate and has 90% of the calorific content of sucrose in that form. Anhydrous forms of trihalos readily regain moisture to form the dihydrate. Anhydrous forms of trihalos can show interesting physical properties when heat-treated. Trihalos aqueous solutions show a concentration-dependent clustering tendency. Owing to their ability to form hydrogen bonds between one another, they self-associate in water to form clusters of various sizes. All atom molecular dynamics simulations have shown that when reaching a concentration of 1.5-2.2 molar, the trihalose molecular clusters percolate and form large, continuous aggregates within the system. Trihalose directly interacts with nucleic acids, facilitates melting of double-stranded DNA and stabilizes single-stranded nucleic acids. Nutritional and dietary properties, trihalose is nutritionally equivalent to glucose because it is rapidly broken down into glucose by the enzyme trihalase, which is present in the brush border of the intestinal mucosa of omnivores and herbivores p. 135 trihalase deficiency is unusual in humans, except in the Greenlandic Inuit, where it occurs in 10%-15% of the population p. 197 trihalose has about 45% the sweetness of sucrose at concentrations above 22% but when the concentration is reduced, its sweetness decreases more quickly than that of sucrose, so that a 2.3% solution tastes 6.5 times less sweet as the equivalent sugar solution p. 444. Biological Properties In nature, trihalose can be found in animals, plants, and microorganisms. In animals, trihalose is prevalent in shrimp, and also in insects, including grasshoppers, locusts, butterflies, and bees, in which blood sugar is trihalose. The trihalose is then broken down into glucose by the catabolic enzyme trihalase for use. Trihalose is also present in the nutrition exchange liquid of hornets and their larvae. Trihalose is the major carbohydrate energy storage molecule used by insects for flight. 
One possible reason for this is that the glycosidic linkage of triolose, when acted upon by an insect trihalase, releases two molecules of glucose, which is required for the rapid energy requirements of flight. This is double the efficiency of glucose release from the storage polymer starch, for which cleavage of one glycosidic linkage releases only one glucose molecule. In plants, the presence of trihalose is seen in sunflower seeds, moonwort, Selaginella plants, and C. algae. Within the fungi, it is prevalent in some mushrooms, such as shiitake, maitak, namico, and judasizia, which can contain 1% to 17% of trihalose in dry weight form. Trihalose can also be found in such microorganisms as baker's yeast and wine yeast, and it is metabolized by a number of bacteria, including Streptococcus mutans the common oral bacterium responsible for dental plaque. When tar degrades dry out, the glucose in their bodies changes to trihalose when they enter a state called cryptobiosis a euro a state wherein they appear dead. However, when they receive water, they revive and return to their metabolic state. It is also thought that the reason the larvae of sleeping Shinomid and Martemia are able to withstand dehydration is because they store trihalose within their cells. Even within the plant kingdom, Selaginella, which grows in desert and mountainous areas, may be cracked and dried out, but will turn green again and revive after a rain because of the function of tree hollows. It is also said that the reason dried shiitake mushrooms spring back into shape so well in water is because they contain tree hollows. The two prevalent theories as to how tree hollows works within the organism in the state of cryptobiosis are the vitrification theory a state that prevents ice formation, or the water displacement theory, whereby water is replaced by triolose, although it is possible that a combination of the two mechanisms is at work. Used to treat amyloidosis, trihalose induces autophagy via an mTOR-independent pathway. It may have use for treatments of Huntington's disease, Parkinson's disease or tauopathies as it may correct defects in autophagy seen in these diseases and improve removal of these aggregated proteins. Other possible benefits, oral trihalose shows antidepressant properties in the mouse model of depression, possibly through reducing p 62 baclin one ratio and increasing autophagy in the frontal cortex. See also, biostasis, cryptobiosis, freeze-drying, cryoprotectant. References External links, cryopreservation with sugars, novel functions and applications of triolose, tremalose.